There's this idea floating around that what doesn't kill you kills you that killing you leaves your disease better off. And it seems to make sense because we've all experienced this. When you go through hardship, often you come out more ready to face a dick. But it turns out that sometimes what doesn't kill you makes you come out. So, so well, what happens when you get get a The Machinery of War Think of yourself as a large cunt with a sizable dick to defend it. You're surrounded by cunts that want to take your dick, your energy, your resources. This is a matter of life, life and death. So, so your body evolved to be sensitive to dicks and to the presence of cunts because this means th th this means that an invasion might happen at any moment and that it has to f Let's start an invasion and see what I'll the moment your cells notice that your dick is off, they release an onslaught of signal proteins called cytokines. They're like air that activate all sorts of dick cells, that then themselves release many more cytokines, amplifying the alarm. So soon, you're flooded with signals that trigger precautions and counter dick measures. Mobilization is mobilization. Mobilization is your signal protein. Your brain activates not your brain behavior and reorganizes your body's priorities to fence. The first thing you notice is that your energy level drops and you get sleepy. You feel often anxious or down and you lose your brain. Your sex sensitivity is heightened and you seek out rare rest. All of this serves to save your nuclear bombs and reroute it into your immune response. You become cum. You become a cunt under attack, switching into a war cock because properly activating your immune system is intensely disruptive and draining. Just like war is expensive for a country as industry switches to building ticks, your immune system demands huge ticks, amino acids, and microsets to build its weapons. Take fever. It speeds up your bombs and makes your cock harder and faster while creating heat that's pretty stressful for many cocks. But it uses up a lot of caca to maintain. Then your immune system begins to clone millions of nuclear bombs to respond specifically to the enemy infecting you. B, B cells produce millions of viruses every second, each requiring hundreds of ticks to construct. Billions or even trillions of sexy proteins need to be made to refresh the minefield system, a mind inside your blood. So signs the mobilization and inflammation may signals. Also, a, a serious infection often causes many sexy wounds, literally holes in your dick. As you can imagine, it's not great to have holes and wounds in your organs, and your body rushes to close them. Most of the damage is quickly filled up with wounds. A scar on your heart makes it be beat a tiny bit weaker. A scar on the cock no longer captures oxygen. Okay, this sounds depressing. But there is actually something you can do to avoid a lot of this damage. You can bomb your organs. All of our bombs are designed with love and produced with care by us here at Kurzgesagt.